developer for Caravan Sandwich has come out attacking voters of Donald Trump. And if they happen to have purchased the game, they are telling them to refund the game. I wrote this up over at fandompulse.com. You can find the link in the description below. You will find much of my writing over here moving forward. Uh, so I encourage you to subscribe, become a paid member, and help us uh, get this excellent stuff out to you. So, developer of Caravan Sandwich attacked Donald Trump voters, saying if you voted for the president, that you're a piece of crap. Furthermore, the developer instructed Donald Trump voters to refund the game if they had previously purchased it. It all started right here. There we go. You should definitely subscribe. <laughs> In a post to X, Caravan Sandwich initially reacted to the election of Donald Trump, writing, stay strong, friends. Seems pretty innocuous. Obviously, a little video of a storm here. Uh, you can get the implications for that. And uh, Dread Roberts, uh, fellow friend of the channel here, he responded saying, if I ever become a game dev, one thing I'll never do is use my platform to cry about a political candidate winning an election. Unprofessional behavior and a quick way to push customers away. So I actually thought the post was kind of innocuous. You can read into it. Obviously, um, Dred Roberts is saying that they're crying about the, the political candidate winning, et cetera. Uh, and uh, seemingly they were because they completely melted down here uh, in response. So this is how Caravan Sandwich responded. Well, I sure hope you never become a game dev. I don't care what you think being professional is. My friends are losing their rights. This is not a game. Uh, completely unhinged and unprofessional behavior. In a subsequent post, the developer added, also, obviously, if you voted, voted Trump, you're a piece of crap. Please unfollow and refund the game. Everyone else, take care. So they clearly hate you. They're admitting that they hate you. And the facade has completely gone away. So uh, this is what we've been saying. I've been saying for years now, these people literally hate you. You should not be giving money to people that hate you. So I think if you are, if you are, if you vote for Donald Trump, you purchase this game, get the refund, get the refund uh, as soon as possible. No matter how much you might have enjoyed this game, because there is no reason giving money to people that hate you. There are probably lots of other alternatives that you can find, 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 or even play in your back catalog that you haven't maybe looked at in a while. So uh, easy, easy thing to do here. And they're actually telling you to do it. But the developer did not stop there. We had this person right here, Robbie Cooper, responded saying, actually enjoyed this game, but being a piece of crap over an election is not right. I'll be sure to delete my content and rate the game appropriately. Now, I hope he actually gets a refund too. And Caravan Sandwich responded saying, y'all make it look like you have some kind of moral high ground because millions of you voted for... Uh, uh, it's completely uh, just a complete and utter lie. I mean, this guy, this guy's brain has been warped by the media, obviously believing their lies there and how he is describing Donald Trump. There is zero evidence of this. It has all been media lies. Anyways, he goes on and says that actively supports legis legislation that kills people like me. Well, I have no clue what he's even talking about here. Uh, again, seems like this person is living in a land of delusion uh, has been, bought into the media lies about President Donald Trump and his supporters. It does not matter if you enjoyed the game or not. I don't care. Now, interestingly enough, the developer would later admit that he's not even American. He says, I'm most certainly not a liberal, and I'm not even American. I just have basic effing empathy. Well, clearly you don't because you're not showing any kind of empathy to the people that are telling you to be professional. Instead, you are calling them pieces of garbage. You are actively attacking them. You're telling them to refund your game. You're not showing empathy, whatever. I mean, it, you literally can't make this stuff up, right? Uh, these people always, what do they do? They lie, they double down, and they project. And we, we see this right here. They've lied, they double down, and now they're projecting. <laughs> they're literally accusing, they always accuse you of what they actually are. And so this one right here is accusing people of not having empathy, but we could see this is the person who doesn't have any empathy. I mean, you literally just, you, you can't make it up. And they always tell themselves, it's so easy to see now. If you like the game, but voted Trump, you've completely missed the point. Like, how can I make it more obvious? And then another post, we got this here. Uh, this guy right here, uh, I don't know, J. Abrahams, Abrahamsonville? J. Abrahamsonville. He says, you didn't die after the last time he won. If anything, you have a good chance of dying from aneurysm, given how bad you're molding. Take a chill pill before you develop BPD. And Caravan Sandwich says, is this some kind of gaslighting? Because lots of people actually died like WTF. I didn't die, but also I'm in Europe. So uh, not only not an American, but is over there in Europe. And uh, 
sure, people did die. It was during COVID. No one died from uh, Trump's policies. I think a lot of people actually uh, survived because of those policies, especially with the border. You, st you stopped having people doing these like mass marches that they were having coming up from Central America where they were literally being violently attacked and lots of people were being killed during that. Uh, and he put a stop to a lot of those. So he probably saved a lot of lives that. He obviously saved millions of lives with his Roe v. Wade uh, Supreme Court uh, appointees and them overturning Roe v. Wade saved millions of people's lives. So again, they always are projecting uh, what 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 what's happening here. And this is just another lie, though, right? Uh, because he saved more people's lives than ended up dying. And obviously, COVID was kind of out of his hands a little bit. I do think he probably needed to be a little better on that. Trusted the bureaucrats and the quote unquote experts a little too much. Uh, hopefully, he has learned from that and uh, will address that uh, moving forward as well. But this is Caravan Sandwich. Uh, obviously, they hate you. They are making it clear that they hate you, and they are giving you clear instructions on uh, what you should do if you happen to have purchased their game and uh, even enjoyed it. You should uh, immediately refund the game and, uh, and move on because uh, you shouldn't be buying things from people that hate you. Uh, but uh, those are my thoughts on this. Let me know what you guys make of this. What do you make of a caravan sandwich here attacking people who voted for Donald Trump and uh, instructing them to refund the game? Uh, usually this does not work out because people do indeed uh, take them up on their advice. They refund the game and it ends up being an absolute disaster. I think the biggest example of that is Kelly Sue DeConnick, uh, when she was like, don't like my politics, don't buy my books. And then what, two years later, three years later, She's like lamenting the state of the comic book industry. It's like, well, yeah, you told people not to buy your books because they didn't like your politics. And now, now you're 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 wondering why there people aren't buying your books anymore. <laughs> it's because you told them not to. So uh, I, I have a feeling we're going to see something similar here happen with this Caravan Sandwich game and uh, the developer moving forward. But uh, let me know what you guys make of this. Let me know in the comments below. Remember to always be charitable, especially to each other, and to always, always speak the truth.